Hello. Well, last uh, show in Malibu was a total bust. The Wi-Fi went out, then you were there, then the Wi-Fi went out again, then Caroline wasn't there, then, then we had to start over, and then we thought, it ain't working, so we're gonna do this on Saturday. Because we were driving home yesterday from Malibu. We had a wonderful time, wonderful. And um, so today, we're doing the Suzanne Selects box, the surprise inside. You know this. Now, we had two boxes, but yesterday Alan gave one away, not thinking that we were going to do the show again. So now we just have one box. That's all we need. That's all we need. That's yeah. right. Come over here in your little shirt. I want to show them your little shirt, and I'll tell them what I want to show you with them in your little shirt. And first, I want to say hello to Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Well, I know how I am, but I, uh, you are moving today, and wow, wow. Okay, um, turn up, you've got background noise, so if you can turn something down, that's great. So I'm looking at Alan right here, and what I wanted to wear today, and I didn't think of it until we walked out the door, was what? The Susie Wong dress. The matching dress out of this, and then Leslie jeweled every single one of those little well, there's next time. There's next time. This could yeah. be the, the promo for it. All right, next time I'm going to wear okay. the dress, which I wore to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Yeah. yeah. And you sat on uh, Don Rickles' Don neck. Rickles neck. Lap. Not his neck. Lap. Oh my God. Right on his lap. Oh, here's here's yeah. to Don Rickles. Don Rickles was a real yeah. good friend. We love Don Rickles. Oh my God. He used to call our house. Looking for Alan and go, is the terrorist here? <laughs> <laughs> to Don. Okay. Rest in peace. And to Barbara, Don. if you're watching. Yeah. He was a good one. Wow. He was able to be a. Let me take a sip to him. He was able to be a comedian that made everybody laugh. But think about it, he never swore, not once, not once. And he he was never racist. He was never he was just this fantastic guy. If you want to have a good read, I think I wrote, wrote either the foreword or a blurb for his book. I was honored to do it. He said, "You do me a favor." I said, "A favor? What an honor!" And for me, I've told you many times, I was the kid, the last one up at the end of the Rat Pack. They were all my age and older when I was. Um, just starting out as a headliner, so I got to hang out with them. Imagine, imagine. Me and Al, whoops, me and Al got to hang out with them, with them. I was roasted by Dean Martin, and on the dais was um, Don, and was Sinatra on that dais? I don't think so. I don't think he was on that dais. Yeah, wow, that would have been something. Everybody else was equally Sinatra, so we're very happy to be here today, and Alan's going to read your questions after he finishes eating, because I just put out some fresh goat cheese given to me by, by my good friend Ann Copelson, and uh, some uh, olive harvest tapenade, kind of great. And on our ride down here in the golf cart, see, can you see out, can they see out the window there, or do you have to turn the camera? Well, anyway, down the path was a big horn sheep. And then as we came around the bend was the bigger big horn sheep. I mean, huge big. And it's always holy when you get to see those sheep. So incredible. So that was fun. Have you seen them? No. They're so incredibly camouflaged. If you can see any of those rocks out there, they're the exact same color as a big horn sheep. And today, a guy came up here to work at the house, and he said there were three big horn sheep just lying in the driveway, just like, hello, hello, everybody. So anyway, here's to the big horn sheep, here's to Don Rickles, here's to you, here's to life, here's to the Rat Pack, to, here's to the most incredible men I ever met in my whole life. And let's throw in Liza Minnelli and Shirley MacLaine, pretty cool women. Mm. Are you going to read some questions, either of you, Caroline or um, Al? Yes, yeah. but you know, since we, a lot of people couldn't hear Suzanne Select, you want to just let Drew send the box and then I'll, I'll oh. questions for you? Oh, okay. Well, I haven't even told you what's in here yet, but I will. I always love the surprise. 
surprise aspect. See surprise inside? That's how you open it. Ta -da, ta -da. Hey, we have... Where is it? I just lost it. What did you say? Was that in the... Kalisa movie? Hussein. Love from Trinidad. She said, you're so beautiful. Love from Trinidad. Oh. I actually shared a room with a Trinidadian. Oh, did. That's right. His name was Eric Deleuze. That's right. And he was an artist. He was studying at the Ontario College of mm -hmm. Art in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And I shared a room with him. Great guy. Let's show you what's in the box and then we'll talk, of, we'll talk about nice guys. <gasps> First of all, there's a micro needle roller. Now, when you get this home, the first thing I want you to do, it comes in a plastic thing, we took it off yesterday, is rub some, rub it in some hydrogen peroxide, just to make sure. Because you're gonna go over your face and you're going to create, you explain it, you explain it so much better than I do, Caroline. Serum, probably our bestseller. Why is it a bestseller? Well, it was one of the original products that we went into business with. Uh, Caroline was, I always limit it down to two ingredients and she goes nuts. She says, there's so much more in there. There's so much more than what I'm going to tell you. But right off the top, what jumps out at me is Ageless Serum is loaded with sea algae. I was just reading about sea algae today in, in another context. It's uh, pretty incredible. And this sea algae in here is from purified water. We don't get it from no dirty mm, water, purified mm. water. It's also got um, African birch in there, which was used in Africa for centuries as medicine. So you've got a medicinal uh, context, and then you've got purified water sea algae. Sea algae is a big word in, big, big buzz in um, uh, skin wrinkling. So here's your, and now you're putting your, you're putting this heat, this the sea algae ageless serum in your roller and then you're rolling it on here and then when you're finished use your face master because this is an incredible conductive fluid so you got a whole lot of shaking going on here as somebody once sang about okay you know i use that uh, rolling needle thing you did. when i'm at my desk and i forget that I'm, I'm using it and i might use it for half an hour I love it. I just like the way it feels. Yeah. And you're actually not supposed to. But <laughs> I know. They, they say that we use it like one or two passes on the skin. Yeah. And your skin is a lot less sensitive than most people. So just make the instructions on it. And you, know, you can sort of tell on your own skin what's comfortable for you. Yeah, I've, uh, I've yeah. I've always been a 84 year old skin. So. I've, I've, I've spent a lifetime developing thick skin. You have. I have. Yeah. You have. Hello from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, hi. I love feeling I'm there with you guys. Well, wow, that's from King Charlton. Wow. Kim Charlton. Kim. Hi, Kim. By the way, Suzanne loved, as, as do I, Australia. And she was just on the AM show there. Was, yeah. And the producer is Jana. Yeah. And uh, you've done it a couple I, of times. I've, right? done it, I've done several shows for Australia because my books have become increasingly popular there so thank you if you had anything to do with that i hope so my books uh, have become increasingly impo uh, pop not unpopular popular around the world who knew yeah who knew china yeah slovenia yeah. slovenia <laughs> is it slovenia or is it the yeah. other the other one i don't know i, I can't could be remember. ambassador there i could 
You could. I could. Yeah. Well, we won't get into that, will no, we? No, we won't. Okay. But. All right. That's intriguing. So Shelly mm -hmm. and Wade said, I'm currently using the surgical face mask to hide my wrinkles. Loving, oh. the, loving the mask. Oh. Laugh out loud. Hi, hi. That's it, funny. Yeah, that's funny. I noticed a lot of women wear them down on their neck, and I think, are they just hiding their necks? Hey, the neck is like the crappy thing about aging. That's the only thing I don't like about aging. But um, I use this, I use this, I use the Age of Serum. Now, you might notice that my shoulders are looking, no, I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to vitamin D3. That's in your surprise box. Why do you care about this? Well, were you out in the sun today on both sides for 20 minutes each, naked? Yes. You were. You were. You asked actually, the question. He actually was. Right. Right. Well, were any of you outside on both sides, 20 minutes each, naked today? If not, then you didn't get the amount of uh, protection that vitamin D3 provides from the sun uh, in paleo times. If you can remember way back in paleo times, you had a real good time, I'm just telling you that, because you just walked around naked all the time, hunting and gathering and having sex and making babies and cycling hormonally to the lunar calendar. Do you know that's how I take my hormones? I take my hormones, I write about it in, uh, I'm too young for this, and I believe I write about it in New Way to Age, that I take my hormones according to the lunar calendar, what does that mean? That means we make the lowest amount of estrogen the first three days of the month, then the next three days it increases, and by the 12th day, the full moon, you make the most amount of estrogen you are going to make all month. Right, Alan? Yeah, I can vouch for that. Right, right. Now, think of the, think of the wisdom of nature. There's two more things in this box. By the way, we're building up to that, you know. I know. Yeah, it's a waning, it's a waning moon. Yeah, so I never understand that. Does that mean it's getting bigger or It's smaller? getting bigger, oh. yeah. Oh, that is Waxing is getting smaller. Isn't that interesting? Just remember, waxing legs, yeah. smaller. Oh. I have to wax my legs so bad. I know, and I'll shave them. Yeah, why not? Yeah, what's well, the big that's deal? A, that's a first. Yeah, it'll save you 20 bucks, right? No, about 150. 150? Well, I don't know. When I leave there, it's never less than 150. Oh, well, I can, hey, I'll do it for 20, and if it's 150, <laughs> then you can pay me six and a half times. Okay, all right. I'll do it. All right. Actually, so, I would like doing it. Let me, okay, we can do that tomorrow. I'd really like to okay. have my legs shaved, and then I can tan them all up again. I'll do that. Um, so, uh, on the 12th day, we make the most estrogen of the month, and that's the day, because I take my hormones in a cycle. You can read about it in my books. That's the day I take the most hormone replacement, the 12th day, coincides with the full moon. Now think of nature, think. Nature knew that women in early days, because there was no light, there was no electricity, that we women were going to cycle to the lunar calendar. And that means each day, we make estrogen every day of the month, know that. We make progesterone only 15 days of the month. Very important to understand. So any doctor wants to give you estrogen every day of the month and progesterone every day of the month. That means, you're, pre that means you're pregnant. Yeah, and then your doctor's lazy because you, you'll be happier because you'll say, oh, I don't have to have a period that way. But you're tricking your body into believing it's pregnant. No body was ever meant to be pregnant forever for the last 50 years of your life. I'll just say that. Now this is how the doctors get mad at me. But whatever, I tell you the truth. It's true. And I don't sell hormones, so I don't care. I can say whatever I want. We have the First Amendment here in this country, and I can say whatever I want. You can. I can. So, so in paleo times, um, on the 12th day, because there's no electricity, there was light. Yeah. Right? yeah. Light of the moon. And what do you do by the light of the moon? Well, when you have the more estrogen than you've had all month, it's yep. the horniest day of your month. Yep. And you've got, you can make love by the light of the moon. Yep. And the next day, that's when your progesterone starts pouring. Nature's so brilliant. Because you know, estrogen is carcinogenic. 
It is. I know. But progesterone is, is anti-carcinogenic. Anti I know that. Blood. And so the next, you, you make all this estrogen on the 12th day, but the next day your estrogen drops down to the lowest amount of the month and now the progesterone starts pouring in. You know, protecting you. Isn't that incredible? You know, when you look at those uh, illustrations uh, of, uh, you know, Neanderthals and people, early people, mm -hmm. and they ran around naked. Yes. You wondered. Uh, Who got turned on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's a. Yeah. 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 That's what I said. You know, exactly. You know, I, I thought so, but I'm always so dumb about left, right, right, left, and bigger, smaller. I didn't say anything, but he was wrong, right? No, I wasn't. I said, yeah. no, I said waxing no. is getting bigger. No. Well, we'll go no. back. We'll go back and play the videotape. Yeah. We've got this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you some furniture. How about some furniture, Caroline? Okay. I know. Can you pull this chair forward so I can put my foot on it? Certainly. My favorite chair in the house I'm going to put my foot on. I love these chairs. We just found the most, and then lift this leg up. Okay. There you go. There you go. We just found the most perfect place in our new um, house for these chairs. I'm so glad I didn't Oh, like oh, not. oh, listen to this, what? cat lovers. Okay. Oh, yes. And we know that there are at least 50 million cat lovers yes. in this country. Okay. Uh, uh, an ex-publisher once said to us, uh, put a picture of your cat on the cover of your book and you'll sell an extra 50,000 copies. That'll give you some idea how we all love cats. Okay. So we're designing our bedroom in the new house. We are working with a wonderful team Okay, a husband and wife, they're both great architects, and they both have a great sense of design. They both are taking what we have uh, told them and implied and converting it into a 3D reality. And last week, we spent some time talking about where do we put the cat box? Yeah, because you have this beautiful room, and then you right. got a cat box with cat right. pee loves. So... So, Dean designed the most incredible cat box. I think Lori designed the cat box. Oh, well, That's Lori, let's make it Lori and Dean. Okay, but I think it was Lori. Lori, okay. if you're watching, I think it was you. Okay. It's the most incredible oh, yes. thing. You don't see it, okay? No. You don't see it. It's on the side of the cabinetry. It's hard to describe what it is. Where our TV is, yeah. and then there's a cabinet below. Yeah. All I can tell so you, you is... There's yeah. an opening. It's an opening, but even with the opening, you don't see it. No, no. You, you have to pull the out the drawer. When you pull out the drawer, you right. just lift up the cat box. And we have to be careful we don't pull out the drawer when you know who is doing her thing. Well, she'll still be in the drawer. Yeah, but she drawer. could bump her head. Like that. You, you know, I yeah. Know, I tell you, these animals do not like the new surroundings. A what? No. They don't like what? New surroundings. New no. Surroundings. Which means you had a rough night. Yeah, and then I just finally put her in pilot's room. You know, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kids are for. You know, it depends the how. Good times, it depends how you times. train your animals. What? Okay. What? Like when we had Chrissy. Yeah. Okay. Chrissy, our first cat. Our first cat, and Chrissy lasted twenty-five years. Twenty-five. And Kissy, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy would come with us everywhere in this country yeah, so and Canada. Person. I remember we were bringing her into Canada. Did we sneak her in? Well, we tried to sneak her in and she started punching the, the shoulder bag. And the guy said, what do you got? And I said, uh, just our cat. So they called the head of the of something, archi security. not architecture. No, it wasn't security. TSA. It was, no, it was the, the agriculture, oh. agriculture department. Oh, yeah. And the, the woman came and she said, you know, you're supposed to have a blah, 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 blah filled form out before you can bring a cat into Canada. And I said, oh, I didn't know that, but I'm a Canadian, so I thought I could just bring my cat in. And she said, no, it doesn't work that way. I said, oh, I have to really apologize. 
Anyway, she was very nice. And you're all humble. And she said, yeah, I, the Canadian yeah, that she, they all grew up with. Right. She said, oh. I, I happen to have several cats myself, oh, and I understand. So Chrissy the cat came with us everywhere we went. Yeah, until she started wrecking the furniture That's right. four seasons That's in right. Toronto. Well, we shouldn't say which hotel it was, otherwise yeah, well, they'll send us a anymore. bill. But we don't go there anymore. That's true. And I fixed it. Always, if you have a cat and you manage to sneak them into your hotel room, always have little manicure scissors. Right. So if they <laughs> do this on the tweed couch, you put on your glasses and you get right in there and you cut it right to the end. No one will ever, ever, ever know. I have to finish the box. Okay. Okay. We have the needle roll. Needle uh, roll. And by the way, we should say the box is thirty nine ninety nine. Let's make yeah. it forty dollars. And it's a hundred and twenty nine dollar value. Hundred and thirty dollar value. Well, one hundred twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. One hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. Is thirty. Here's your micro roller, uh, micro needle needle. Can you talk, Suzanne? Micro needle roller. <laughs> say that okay. five times. So, and you use it. Not only with this, you use this. I have some really dry skin on my thigh. I put this on my thigh this morning. Oh my God, my thigh went, thanks. Really? Yeah, I like I really, really, really good. You should put this on here. I like but, your thigh. Yeah, yeah, because it's so dry on my thigh where I have that wound, you know? And it made it, 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 made it all really ageless. Your, your skin, your thigh is ageless. Yeah. It's not for your thigh. It's for your face. It's for micro, uh, the micro needle thingy, and it's for um, face master as conductive fluid. But this is if if you use the brightening serum, you put that on first. If you use uh, liquid oxygen, you put that on first or second. But the next thing you put on at all oxygen. times, always, yeah. is your ageless serum. It's made from. A lot of things, thank you Caroline, but the two that I get the most turned on by is algae from purified water, sea algae, which is the buzz and wrinkles, and African birch, which was used in Africa for centuries as medicine. So you're getting a medicinal aspect to this and you're getting the purified water sea algae for your wrinkles. And then there's a shit ton more of stuff in there. A pastrami, I think they put a little pastrami in there. And by the way, ha hang on to the box. It's incredible. Okay, so I've I, got. I'm not finished. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get through the whole box. Vitamin oh. D3. I had my I vitamin did this D3 whole thing today. On the hormonal system and the yep. light of the moon and paleo yep. times and estrogen and it's carcinogenic and progesterone is anti carcinogenic. All of it have nothing to do with this. Except if you understand the importance of sunlight. The way we take in sun is through, I mean, vitamin D3 is through the sun. And so we've all been warned about going out into the sun. And as an Irish person, um, I have to watch my skin. Like I was, I was in the pool today, first day since my uh, injury. And it's all cleared up on the side here. And I was in the pool doing pool exercises and I was so happy and I got my hair all wet and I was just all wet in the pool. It was so wonderful. Anyway, um, I was taking in a lot of vitamin D3 also. But vitamin D3, what's in this here, is so important for support of the four most in, in, incredible systems in your body. Your endocrine system, that's what sends all your hormones around. That's your communication set, center. That's, that's the, you know, the hormones in the brain tell the, the, the uh, thymus to tell the thyroid to tell the, 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 it's like the knee bone connected to the thigh bone. They all talk to one another all the time, but without sufficient vitamin D3, your hormones aren't working at optimum. That's not all. How about your heart, your cardiovascular system? That's what tells the heart, okay, let's start pumping. Okay, let's do that. And let's pump even, let's like keep the arteries like pumping nice, okay? All right, that's not all. Then it's good <laughs> for the brain. 
The, the um, what do you call the brain? This is cardio. The brain is the neurological. Neurological, yeah. It's actually not neurological, but she's better than what I was talking How about the brain? Just the brain. And the brain. And the brain. The brain, brain but yeah. thank you both. Um, it's good for the brain. Keep the brain sharp. And then the final is the immune system. That's what's probably a weakened immune system is what's wrong with most everybody who's not right. You can't be right without a, a strong immune system. Okay, so those, that's just four of the things that vitamin D3 do. I don't know anything about this. I heard that if your vitamin D levels are high enough, it's it's uh, good in this COVID time. Of you know that. Mind. You know, even though I, I'm in oh, the sun, time, even though I'm in the sun a lot yeah. every single day, I still take the vitamin D. And I give you right now during the yeah. COVID. I, I give you. Four times more than he used to take. The nice thing about Alan is he'll take anything I put in his hand. Anything. Anything. He knows anything. that I his back. He yeah. Knows I touch his back. Yeah. But that's not all. That's <laughs> not all. Do my shoulders look nice? Well, let me... They're kissable. Ah. You have you kissable shoulders. Kiss you want to come kiss my shoulder? Certainly. All right. I never put this on even. And Carolyn always goes, you didn't put it on even. I sent her a message every morning. You do. Sometimes it gets through and sometimes it doesn't. It always gets through. But I always start by kissing her. It always okay? gets through. By the way, you know what's great? What? I, I was just kissing you on the part that didn't have the stuff on it. Yeah. And it tastes much better than the part that has the stuff. But that's because the stuff hadn't dried yet. Oh, kiss If the stuff had dried. Try it now. It's probably dry. This is how you get him to kiss you again. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so sorry. <laughs> okay, so while they're making out, I'm <laughs> that's my, well, that's my dog. Is, that's my dog. You get immediate color when you put this on. It does have yeah. some of Sudan's natural tanning acids yeah, in there, but it also has a little bit of shimmer, so it's great to put on your shoulders. Legs, hands. You can layer this over your golden tanning serum. There you go. You So Sun Kissed Kit is Caroline's name, and it's clever, and it's great, Caroline. But that's not all. No, no there's more. Can you believe how much is in this box? Remember, the box is worth just the price of the Angel Serum. What are you getting so far? You're getting the roller, the micro needle roller. You're getting the Angelus Serum, but that's not all. You get the vitamin D for the four most important systems in your body. But that's not all. You're getting the bronze shimmer that you put on your shoulders or your legs or your, or even like on the tops of your cheeks, not under, the tops of your cheeks to look you, make you look like you're not wearing any makeup. But that's not all. <laughs> Maybe my favorite thing in the whole box. I've got one next to my bed. I've got one in my uh, makeup area. I've got one on my sink. I've got one in the kitchen. I've got, oh, in my private place. I don't want anyone using this me. I've got one in my Your private kitchen. place? Well, in the kitchen. You mean the, oh, I thought you were talking about the entertainment center. Oh. No, no, you said my private place. No, what do you think I'm thinking of? My secret place where I keep things. Like okay, well, you didn't add that. You, no, no, you didn't add that. You just said my private <laughs> place, and I thought the only. Girls, what do I do with him? Your only private place what I'm do aware of. <laughs> this is made from shea butter, cocoa butter, kapuasu, and a, a bunch of other stuff from the Amazon. It, 
I always have this on, especially, you know, we're in, in, in Malibu all week and I wasn't dry at all this week. I'm back here again, I'm loading up with this. Oh my God, this is so great. Keep this everywhere. Oh, there's the little baby we hatched. The what? little baby, um, um, what are they called? Hummingbirds. Hummingbird, yeah. So yeah, Christine, yeah. Christine yeah. Patchett, Christine Patchett. <laughs> No, please. Yeah, it is true. You get everything in this box for Dirty Mind 99. Suzanne does an amazing deal every month, and that's what the Suzanne Select box is. You sign up and you can get it every month or every other month or every three months, whatever you like. And when it arrives, you'll be, you'll be charged Thirty Nine Ninety Nine, and then it'll get shipped to you. And it's always a surprise, what's in it? And it will always be worth at least $120. Today it's worth $130. Sometimes it is Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know the. And, and, and if you get, if, if you're loving what you know you're going to get, and you have a gift, you have to get somebody, order a second one. It comes all wrapped. It's beautiful. Yeah. What, what, And also, you know, what what an incredible gift to a girlfriend. Like these are all things that we all go, oh, oh wow. You know, you know, oh, wow. you know the best time for this box to arrive? No. Before your period. How's that, Al? Okay. No, I that? just happen to know what that's like because uh -huh. I've lived with it. Okay. No, that's well, actually, well, yeah, 25 years, but 25 I've lived years. with it, so I know what that I is. I know what a period is. Okay, no, I don't either. It's <laughs> I, all I know is uh, everything's safe. We're not going to make any more babies. Yeah. Well, we never made one. We want, you know what? I want to tell you something. Oh, I wanted to have a baby with Alan Helen, as you can imagine. I love him so much. But I wasn't capable of... Uh... No, that's not true. <laughs> but we felt... And a lot of you who have blended families probably understand what we're going to say. That it's hard enough. And we are the first generation who got divorced. Hard enough for children to experience divorce. So hard. They don't know who to be loyal to. It's just, it's so complex. If I could do everything over again, I, everybody in our family would be in therapy. This is what therapy is for. Um, but we talked about having a baby as we so in love with each other and we thought if we did it would make his children and my child who are adjusting to being three children by new parents on each side feel like they weren't the real children have any of you had that experience and plus the fact they'd have they'd look a little strange because they'd have long straight blonde hair and a big nose yeah, it's true. That's Somebody asked me, I, 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 I wish I... <laughs> what well, Chrissy is the cat. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I'm... No, true. No, Chrissy was the most incredible cat. Yeah. And I had never had a cat in my life. I've and only Stephen had dogs. Stephen once said to me, Stephen once said to yeah. me, uh, you, you love this cat, don't you? I said, oh, yeah. I love her so much. He said, is she the most important thing in the world to you? And I went, yeah. yeah really. And I went, no, 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 she's not. No, she's Christy not. was great. No, I, I think um, and so was, maybe blending families. So was that wild cat that came in. Oh, Felix. No, no, what was his name? Ficus. Ficus, yeah. Oh, my God, that was the most. No, the best cat. Hank, was Hank. Hank. Hank was I the best was cat. Incredible, but Hank, everybody watching who met Hank loves Hank. I want Hank to come back so bad. I have a picture of me and Hank. I'll see if I can find it here. Oh my God, I loved Hank. Anyway. So uh, Sherry Roebuck wants to know where I met you. Where did you meet Al, Suzanne? Oh, she wants you to answer. Oh, well, I, uh, it was just practical. I. I, I, Bruce was a little boy, really little boy, like three or four years old, 
I never know exactly about numbers or ages or anything, so forgive me. You, you, had, you, had, you had no support, no child, no alimony, no I child support, money. no part. You were I on your own. Money. On your own. Have any of you Great ever training. had no money? Yeah. Have you had no money? You've had money. No, hold you it. You started making money when you were No, no, no. I've always made, I've always done well. Except always. when I, so when you moved in with after you. I moved in with you, because it was after. I, got, I thought I was married. It was after my, rich guy. well, I had a Cadillac convertible. Well, after my. Anybody with a Cadillac, I thought, right. must be rich, <laughs> right. because a Cadillac. I didn't realize that's all he had. Well, I was until I, I divorced, and I decided you were, I, you were a good boy. I wanted nothing you gave everything except my car, because I didn't want anything to change for Two things, my children and my ex-wife. Can you see the Matador guy yeah. here? Yeah. That's the only thing he took with me, and I'm actually glad. That's so fabulous. Yeah. We're trying to downsize here. And, and, my, and, and my ex-wife did the armature, which oh, is the, the steel thing that. that goes inside to hold the so matador we, suit. We solved a lot of, a lot of issues yeah. by being grown up. you got to be grown up. And I think now that... I don't, think, down, I, don't, I don't think you ever grow up. I think you're oh, grown up. I think as you well, age, you're great. Well, I know, but every no, so often, I, I would say like you maybe... Maybe 90 out of 100% you're grown up, and then there's that 10% that becomes say, infantile. You? Yeah. Okay, so that's not so grown up. Well, you either. haven't said that to so, me. You, you haven't said that to me for, what, 20, 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only looking down uh, uh, all of you. I'd like, to know, there, I'd like to know how many, how many women say that to their significant other. I don't know. I'd like to find out, you okay? Would. You would. Yeah. Any? I'm looking for Hank. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, that picture of you and Hank? I love Hank. I, God, we all fell in love. You all met him the day I met him. We all yeah. fell in love with Hank on the same day, and then we all got heartbroken. One one month later, he ran away. It was so, like, I'm here. I came, I did. And so Patty, Patty Colick wants to know, how many times a week do you use the roller? Well, don't listen to me, because I use it every, every time I sit down at my desk. But I think, is, uh, Caroline, is there like a usage manual? Caroline left, hoping we wouldn't notice she left. No, I'm, I'm here. Oh. Sorry, she didn't sit up for a little bit. Oh. Ask what her again. What did I have to tell the usage manual? Ask her again. How many, how many times should someone use the roller on their face? Once or twice. You do it probably 50, 60, 100 times. I do. I like it. So what's that going to do to him? Is he going to lose his brains? <laughs> uh, he, he's got thick skin. That's what we love about him. Uh, yeah, I've got very one thick skin. One of my skin. favorite lines um, on Three's Company was, um, oh, what was the setup for it? Oh, no, 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 no. It was my nephew who came home from school, my sister's son. Danny, and he really wanted some chocolate. He went through all the cupboards and he couldn't find any chocolate. And then for some reason he went through the uh, medicine cabinet and it said X-Lax chocolate flavored. He didn't know what X-Lax was. was. He was a little boy. And he ate the whole box. And his brother <laughs> Tim came home and said, what you do? And he said, I ate the X-Lax. He said, you're going to S-H-I-T your brains out. And he, and later on, the, the, my younger nephew came down and said, Am I going to lose my brains? <laughs> I know. I yeah, know. yeah. I By the way, you know what? You don't have to, when you spelled, you yeah. spelled it. Yeah, okay? might as well. Oh, here you don't is. have to spell it because most people know how it's spelled. Remember, okay? remember Hank? Oh, there's Hank. Yeah, let me hold it up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, yeah. Yeah. The one thing, stop ordering things in bulk. Oh. Even vitamins? Oh, you found it. Oh, there's Hank. Mm. Uh, um, sweetest cat. Hank was great. Oh, my God. You met him in person, didn't you, Caroline? I was there today. Oh, that's right. You were. 
Well, yeah, you know, when I'd call Hank, he'd come running. Whenever we'd go for a hike, he'd come with us. Better than, let's, now that we're out of a room that any of our domestic cats have been in. Yeah, we can talk about them, yeah. This cat was better than any of our domestic cats. That's true. Better than Chrissy. Oh, no, hold it, hold it. It was a whole different relationship. It is. With Chrissy, we had a 25-year love affair, okay? It's not about how active she was or if she came I to us when we called. Nobody was like that. Cats are not supposed to come to us when we call, Look okay? Cat dogs me. come. Look if, cat me. All you have to say is, here, boy, even if it's a girl and the dog comes running. Cats don't do that. That's what's great about them. When we come home and there's a dog waiting at the door, There'll always be a dog waiting at the door, and you walk through the door. There's and a dog... cat waiting at our door when we come. I know, but we don't know if she's been there all night or yeah, whether. It doesn't have to be a competition. Like you can love dogs and cats, or one you. or the other. There you They're go. Great. There you go. Yeah. 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 All right. Let me go through the let me go through the box once more, so we can tell more stories. For those of you who just came in late, you get the micro needle roller. And when you want to know what that is, Caroline will tell you. Tell them what it is, Caroline. It, it's a, it has tiny little micro needles, and they create like tiny, tiny, tiny little punctures in your face. And you use it to attach it to the end of your hair. Yeah. And then you can use it to put it in your So, hold and it. you use it with the Ageless Serum. The Ageless Serum, which is made from sea algae, uh, from purified waters, and uh, African birch, which was used as medicine in Africa for centuries, and a ton shit of other things that Caroline will tell you. What are they, Caroline? So I, ha I have like a question. A question. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I hope someone knows the answer to this. Because well, I'm assuming the answer, but I, I could I be wrong. Know. Okay. Okay. Know. It's from Brooke Douglas. And she says, I had a Mr. Kiki. I loved him so much. So the question is, <laughs> what, is what is Mr. Kiki? Kiki? Okay. Is okay, that, can she tell us? Is that her vibe? No, it's your cat. Mr. It's your cat. Oh, you I don't know. Line? I don't your know. Your father-in-law just went to that bad place. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't think of cat. Hey. And then, okay, we got we went through that. Vitamin D3, for those of you who are um, uh, just tuning in, I can't go through the whole paleo uh, uh, cycling to the lunar character. Yeah, you'll have to, yeah, you'll have to uh, roll back to, to hear that. But anyway, this is for the four most important systems in your body, your heart, your brain, your immune system, and your endocrine system. Endocrine uh, system is moving all your hormones around so they can 
communicate it's so important. What okay, so yeah. Nancy Bloom line uh -huh. says, looks like, she's talking about Hank. Oh. Looks like my cat, which I named Peanut. He is the sweetest cat. He rolls on his back to get attention. And when you rub him and stop, he rolls again on the floor. <laughs> I had a girlfriend like that once. I bet. I, I did. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad I didn't know you then. Crazy Dorothy. Crazy Dorothy. Yeah, Crazy Dorothy. 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 My husband had a girlfriend called Crazy Dorothy. Crazy Dorothy. Well, she wasn't yeah. a girlfriend. Oh, she wasn't? No. She's a one-night stand? Crazy no, I, no, I wouldn't call her a one-night stand. What was she, a one-hour? She was a, a, she was a, 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 a neighborhood... Um, Slut? Neighbor. Neighbor. Na na neighborhood neighbor. More than a neighbor. Well, you know, she, we, well, I wouldn't call her that. I mean, she was very nice. Oh, and, you watching. I just want you to and, know that before yeah. we got married, I said to Alan, I don't care about anybody before me. I don't care about anybody before me, just nobody after me. So all these stories kind of amuse me because I'm the one who ended up with them. Yeah, actually, I'm the only one in Hollywood not sta still still standing. You are. You're a good boy. Yeah. Good well, that's because you you, th you, you know threatened me. You threatened me. No, yes, you did. You, you said no, no, no. Hold it. No, you I said didn't. if you fool around while we're married, I will shoot your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay that's with not that. Why. Around. It's not why, it's but it, that sort me. of fortified it. Did you, like, okay, love me I do. And just say, That's of course, I do. Tell them. I love you more than anybody, anything, anywhere in my entire life, forever and ever, made it forever, ever, ever. Yeah, that's I'm the happy. deal. I'm happy. That's well, the deal. You're the one. Yeah. You're the one for me. <laughs> You know, there are so many nights. There's. Where did I get? I got, oh. I got through the vitamin D, but that's not all. <laughs> See my shimmery shoulders? That's because I put a shimmer, shimmer on them. Shimmer shoulder. And when he shaves my legs tomorrow, which yep. he will do. And then uh, I'll have my legs all tanned up with our Ageless Tanning Serum. What do you see when I put this over the top of my uh, tanned legs from our Ageless Tanning Serum? I cannot wait to shave your legs. I can't either. My legs are so hairy from this pandemic. Wow. But that's not all. The last and my favorite thing in the box is our lip balm. You know, when you buy that stuff at the checkout counter at the supermarket, uh, you know why you buy so much of it? It's because it has uh, petroleum gasoline in it. Look at the label. It's got gasoline, petroleum. So what does gasoline do? It, it, you put it on your lips with all the waxes and everything they put in, but it dries out your skin. And when it dries out your skin, you have to keep putting more and more and more on. But not this. This is shea butter, uh, coconut oil, Kapua Sioux from the Amazon and other incredible things from the Amazon. Kapua. They had, they had, they had to uh, stay pretty uh, moisturized down there. And we have made this, uh, is this insignia here? Yeah, certified toxic free, which means it has to be grown organically, extracted organically, and nothing upwind or downwind of the product can be toxic to contaminate it. So okay. that's in your box. Here's your box. This is like the deal of deals. And save the box. Yes. Let me explain to you guys how the description works. Yeah. You sign up for Suzanne Select. It's always going to be $39.99. So you can get it every month or every other month or every three months. And it's just like the price of
it is the biggest discount we give by far. She is right. And what a fast hour. Wow. So, okay, okay hold it. Wow. We're Karen, at Karen Katan Billick said, biggest turnoff when men talk about other women. Sounds like a dirty old man. I think she means me. Yeah. Talking about dirty, yeah, talking, oh. not dirty, talking about crazy Dorothy. I mean, she was crazy. But, I mean, not not not, Karen, not 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 crazy in the sense Karen, that she, you know, yeah. I he is so devoted to me. I wake up with this man kissing me. I go to sleep with this man kissing me. He does every now since I've had this hip thing. He does everything for me. I don't care about any of them in the past. They lost. I won. Anyway. I love all of no, you. No, but I, you know what? Crazy Dorothy, I mean, wasn't I mean, crazy. We just called her you Crazy mean, Dorothy. You know what? It strikes, when you talk about... She was like one of, the, past, she was one of the guys. You know, when you talk about women from your past, it yeah. triggers issues in us women of, yeah, I remember when oh. he did that to me. And you oh. don't want to trigger things, so... Oh, well, I've got a few more so I can lay on you. Sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry. What am I you sorry for? Yeah. It could be that the man didn't treat the woman very well, and then they go, oh, God, she's such a crazy woman. Hold it. I bought her a chocolate sundae. I'm not saying that about you. Okay, I bought her a chocolate sundae. A chocolate sundae. And then on Friday night, I'd buy her a pastrami sandwich. There you go. What a Okay. With extra yellow mustard. And a Coke. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. No, actually, crazy. No, no, no. Actually, well, I haven't checked lately, but I guess like. I hope you haven't checked ten, lately. No, no, ten, with you. 50, no. ten years 50 ago. Years, ten years ago. Would you be checking? Exactly. Why? I don't know. Cre yeah, ten, why would twenty. You be yeah, I'm not checking. Someone checked for me. No. One of my colleagues. You're, crazy you Dorothy. Are BSing, no, I'm not. Uh, no, I've never. I. No, I don't no, even know Chrissy no, Dorothy. No, no, I don't know her name. We caught him, didn't we? No. What? And that. And that. Yeah. And, and no, Crazy Dorothy, and I know, married really well, moved to Florida, and had had a great life. Uh, really, I'm not kidding. Uh, somehow, somebody sent me a face mail or a fa something with Crazy Dorothy in this crowd, okay? And she, I won't tell you why she was in the crowd, but Crazy yeah. Dorothy, someone, one of my old buddies. No, I know I'm not ahead. Uh, no, I'm climbing now. uphill. Climbing no, up it's hill. desperate now. You're I gotta, so, I gotta get back to so even. Okay, today. what? Who? Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Okay. So, apologize what? to everybody. To who? Your shortcomings. I don't have shortcomings. Say that again. Oh. So long for a while. So Nancy does. She loves my stories. Okay. Da, 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 That's all that matters. Okay. You have to pull your ear. Are the songs that we want? I'm just making up lyrics. I know. So long. I don't pull my ear because the that's the Carol Burnett song, and this is not the Carol Burnett song. Oh, it's not. Oh. Carol Burnett is. I love you guys. I'm gonna go wash the dishes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, me too. Send, point, point. Send me pictures tonight, okay? I will. All right. Yeah. Good night, everybody. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Stop Al talking about Dorothy. <laughs> okay. I'll never mention her again. But she married well, and she's got 11 grandchildren. Okay. <laughs>